Hi, my name is Rob Stocklosa. I'm an application engineer with TPM out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're going to discuss adding multiple manufacturing part numbers to one symbol on our 2D schematic. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and locate a 6-pin connector from my 2D symbol library. And we'll drop that in place on the schematic. Uh, of course I would normally fill out my information but today we really want to illustrate the manufacturing parts tab. So I'm going to go ahead and just start building up uh, the information required uh, to manufacture this connector properly. Uh, the first thing I'm going to select here of course is the connector itself. Uh, and You can see that connector does have the six terminals I was looking for so I'll go ahead and add that. Now this is where things start to change. Uh, any information I want to add to that connector that be called out on our bill of materials, I'm just going to simply add that in to the manufacturing parts tab. So for instance in this case, uh, aside from that connector, I have an additional uh, six uh, terminals. So I'll go ahead and locate those and you'll notice those are set to be an auxiliary type. So uh, my library information understands how to properly call this out as well as opposed to a base part. So I'll go ahead and add these six terminals and then I'll locate uh, what is commonly uh, a lot of our clients use these are uh, the wire seals. So you can see I've, I've built this connector up to not only call out the connector itself, I have the six terminals and the wire seal. So not much to that. Uh, it's a very quick process. Uh, I just wanted to make sure everyone understood how to do that. So that's step one. And again, we can just confirm this. Uh, that everything took properly. Now we're ready to go ahead and actually call this information out on our bill of materials. So we'll go ahead and generate our reports from within SolidWorks Electrical. And uh, this particular report we're going to use uh, by mark here. I'm going to sort it by mark. And I can confirm before I create them, you know, that things are going right. So there's the P1 mark. And you can see that as I extend out the part numbers, all those manufacturing part numbers are associated to that connector. Uh, with the appropriate description. So that looks good. I'm going to generate my drawings only for that one here. We don't need too many. And now I'll take a look at what we've created. So these bills of materials, like you can see here, each mark is uh, it's sorted by mark, but each manufacturer is going to be associated to it. I could choose to have a quantity, but this uh, particular one does not. There's our P1 mark as a TL uh, location. All the part numbers, description, and manufacturer are associated to it. So very quick, uh, but I hope this was helpful. It's a common question we get. Have a great day.